Welcome back class. My name is Mr. Betts and if you did not notice a couple of weeks ago we hit 50,000 subscribers. Did not think that would ever happen, but it did. And I thought a good way to celebrate that was to ask you to ask me questions. I put out a video last week on that. We had over 250 questions asked. Let's see what you guys want to know about me. Lol Meme Trash asks, would you go skydiving or have you before? Funny story about that. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. I have gone skydiving before. I went tandem jumping. And if you don't know, tandem jumping is when like you're attached to the instructor, you really don't have to do anything but just kind of enjoy the ride. Anyway, uh, he asked, do you want to jump through a cloud? Which sounds magical, right? Jumping through a cloud. So I say yes. So we jump through a cloud and that's when I figure out something. Um, clouds are A, made of what? Water, yes, exactly. And B, um, what is your normal facial expression when you're falling through the sky? Like that. So what happens is that cloud, aka water, goes into your screaming face and then you wind up drowning at like 11,000 feet as you're falling at hundreds of miles per hour. Skydiving, do it once, don't go through a cloud. Nerdgamer421 asked me what has inspired me to make this channel, make these videos. I had seen Crash Course with John Green, their world history series, their like first series, and I was like, that is awesome. Why don't I try to make my own videos? So the Will of the Shadows also asks, uh, what made me want to do historical parodies? The first one that I ever did was uh, the John Locke. What has John Locke say done to what did the Fox say? And it just, what does the Fox say was like a crazy stupid song that was blowing up on YouTube. And for some reason it just got into my head like, what does John Locke say? I'm like, oh, I could do something with that. That'd be really weird. In the video itself, I said like, this is probably the stupidest or the dumbest thing that I've ever done. And that was also the first time I had a video that really kind of took off. I think that kind of speaks to how to succeed on a platform like YouTube. I'm not saying go out of your way to be stupid or silly, but like if you have an idea, don't worry about how others are going to view it if like it's something that excites you or something that makes you laugh. Don't hold back. How do you come up with lyrics for your songs? and what do you use to edit your videos? Okay, first part of the question, how do I come up with lyrics? It changes. Sometimes a song will be in my head and like lyrics will automatically be replaced in there. Other times I know I will have a topic, I know I will have a song that I like, and I really try to figure out a way to get them in there together. One of the things I'm gonna work on this summer is a really um, clear how to make your own parody videos as like a project um, type video. Uh, so that teachers or students that want to use them, they can really go through my process. A, a big part of it though is planning, like get all the lyrics for the original song and then make notes, like make outline notes that you like normally would do of all important details on the topic that you have to write about and then you can start assigning different parts of the topic to different parts of the song. I hate to tell you this, it's just like your teachers are telling you when you have to write essays, pre-planning equals success. Oh, and what do I use to edit my videos? Adobe Premiere Pro, you don't need it. For the first year or two, I was just using whatever free software I could get. Just know that if the only reason that you're not making videos right now is you think you don't have the proper equipment, you're stalling. Okay, you're lying. Emily Deliso asks, will you come to my class? See, that's kind of the hard part because if you look around me, like this is my classroom. So while I'm making these YouTube videos for you, I teach full time as well. Dad, there is a Patreon perk uh, that you can get um, and I will do a virtual substitution in your classroom or instead of going to your classroom, it could be a virtual tutoring session, like a one-on-one -on -one tutoring session on Skype. And just check it out if you're interested in it. Okay, Joseph DeAndrea asks, if you could time travel to any event in US history, when and where would you go? It's a weird question because a lot of the big events are places that you wouldn't actually want to go to like going to like Yorktown or Gettysburg like I wouldn't want to actually be there it sounds very very dangerous let's take all of those violent ones out of the picture front row room like at the base of the Lincoln Memorial for the I have a dream speech I that would be great I'll go for that one John Z asks, how do you sing so good John Z, there are a lot of people that would disagree with your assessment of my singing. Pierre Matthew 2 asks, what is the favorite song that you have done? You know what? I think the John Brown Look What You Made Me Do came out 
really, really well. I got a little cinematic at the end of it and it came out pretty much exactly how I wanted it. Favorite, least favorite part of living in NYC and teaching. Well, technically I live in Hoboken, which is right over the Hudson River. My favorite part of living in NYC, I teach two blocks away from Central Park. Part that I least like, long escalators coming out of the subway and you have two people standing next to each other, standing. If you're on the left-hand side of that escalator, you better be moving or get out of the way. Would communism work in America? Does communism truly work anywhere? What is your favorite war? The Star Wars. What are your thoughts on gun control? Pro, against, I think we do have a problem in this country that we need to talk about without both sides automatically hunkering down. And I will just say as a veteran, as someone who daily worked with a weapon on them, um, I don't want to teach with a weapon on me. I'll just leave it at that. What is your first name, Mr. King Cabo asks, how fast can you rap? We're gonna see, cause I may be doing a little Eminem coming up in the next couple of weeks. So he tends to go a little fast. Kennedy Dragon asks, if you had to be one historical leader, who and why? All right, let's immediately throw out everybody that got assassinated. Let's just go to the beginning. Let's be George Washington, lives to a pretty ripe old age. I take better care of my teeth. Have you ever decided on making albums of your historical parodies? I'm right now figuring out how to work my webpage mrbetsclass.com so that people can you know buy them as singles or maybe as collections as well so stay tuned for that uh, help me Buddha says how come people don't like violence but think war is the answer to everything because those people aren't fighting the wars Isaac Dukes asks, can you do a video on the Vietnam War please Okay, yeah, sure, it comes out next week. Could I make more videos about European history? The hard thing about that is like, I wanna make sure everybody knows when they come here, they're getting some kind of content. So the only way that I feel really right, uh. Oh, I had a burp. The only way I feel really right jumping over to European or like global is if I fully dedicate it over there, but I don't want to uh, stop doing American history videos. So we need to invent like two more days in the week that I can have solely to um, work on a second dedicated high quality uh, global history video and still get my American history videos and still actually work full time as a teacher. Oh my God, there's no time for anything. Could you briefly explain Germany's perspective during World War II. Okay, that's mine. Mm. Ruby Dan asks, what's my favorite meme? You know what? I don't really see it much anymore, um, but I really liked Insanity Wolf just because it was so weird. For you younger kids, don't look it up. Alexandra Kniffin says, my friend got a plant from Ikea and named it Bets in your honor. Well, that's nice. I've never had a plant named in my honor. Zoro Sepetl? Zorosa Petal asks, how many years have you been teaching? Um, have I been, I've been teaching like since 2009 or 2010, something like that. Wow, soon it'll be coming up on 10. Wow, I'm old. Senor Javier says, how good do you still remember the Revolutionary War? I remember it like it was yesterday. I'm not that old. Alex Drake asks, will you marry me? Sorry, taken. Uh, Skylander Fanatic says, how long does it take you to pick a song, a topic, filming in the lyrics? 10 hours minimum from opening concept to releasing everything. Can you talk about what fueled your love for history and your passion for teaching? The Navy. Uh, when I was in the Navy, you get to travel the world. On our biggest tour, we were out for seven months. I hit eight different ports here to South Korea and back. There's also the concept of you training your replacement, so you're constantly teaching the people below you. So between um, falling in love with the world and the culture and the history of the world and falling in love um, with teaching people that were just trying to figure out how to live their life in this new environment, Environment. You throw those two together and I knew when I was gonna get out of the Navy, the only thing I could be is a history teacher. I wouldn't be good at anything else. Uh, Saxophone Time asks, why do guns exist? Um, because rocks exist. Because thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, your best option was to pick up a rock and throw it. And then somebody figured out that if you put it in a tube like that, uh, it went farther and faster. And then somebody figured out that if you took wood and like a string and you went like that, um, it went farther and faster. And then somebody figured out that if you take a little bit of powder and a lead ball and you put it in a tube and have an explosion, boom farther and faster. And then once you introduce that into the world, everybody else needs that. 
the arms race. It's been going on for thousands of years. <laughs> Evie Castro asks, are your teacher colleagues jealous of you? I don't think they're jealous of me. I think they know what I do. Um, and I think they're like, wow, that sounds really interesting. I work with some really talented people, so everybody has something cool that they do outside of work. This just happens to be mine. Uh, Gravy got 2 asks, will you be my dad? No, I'm already Quentin's dad. Uh, if you get me and my friend merch, I will get your name tattooed on my inside of my lip. Like you come from Wakanda? No, I'm not doing that. SpongeBob Brown Pants as Himothy and Jimothy, are those all of your brothers? No, okay. I have, I have twin brothers and twin sisters and they're the ones that do the videos. So um, there's me, uh, then there's Jimothy, then there's Himothy, then there's Linothy, then there's Rex. He is insane, he only comes out during Halloween and then I have two twin sisters as well and their names are Kimothy and Shimothy. So that's the family. How do you know all these events in history so well, says uh, Lessa Barbeck. You know what, I don't. Then I do the research on them. It's really no different from what you're doing in class. I'm just optionally doing all of these research uh, projects and finding a really interesting way to present the information to you. Uh, Easy History asks, which part of history do you prefer the most? Uh, I think my favorite part to learn more about is just the age of exploration, specifically when the Europeans are coming to the Americas for the first time, because it's the closest thing that we've ever really had to an alien invasion. That said, it's a really horrific time. Uh, Kirstie Turnbull asks, could you do a how to revise effectively last minute video? Yeah, don't wait till the last minute. Baron Zemo says, I remember the video where you compared the Avengers to the US presidents, but you forgot Zemo. Okay, here's where you messed up because that video was released to coincide with the Avengers Age of Ultron. Baron Zemo, while he winds up being in that story, he's not in that movie. So no, I did not forget him. Zemo. One Weasel News asks, how many times was America close to nuclear war with someone? You say was, as if we're not now. Around Abby asks, why can't kids drink alcohol? And honestly, you guys are too young for it. It will mess with your brain at this point in your life. Um, somebody said something um, this year that really kind of made a lot of sense. I'd never heard it before. Um, but alcohol is a flavor, and when you treat it like something else, you're abusing it. Ariel Faber Varv says, who is the best president and why? Teddy Roosevelt, because because he's Teddy Roosevelt. Lauren Poland asks, what is your opinion on the Never Again movement? It's about time. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry if I was just like illuminated beyond belief. The sun has changed and I'm not really used to using natural sunlight for my videos. Rhea Music asks, why do you think musicals have historical facts incorrect? Because they have to. I think musicals or like movies or anything like that, um, they're a completely different animal than real life or usually from the source material that they come from. Hopefully they're mostly faithful to the source material, but I'm forgiving when they have to tweak. So like, how would you recommend studying for the AP test when US history isn't your strongest subject? You can watch my videos to cram. I will invite you to. I actually, um, I'm really anticipating seeing that gigantic spike I see every year right before uh, finals and right before the A push test. But you should start now and you should make yourself a little bit of a schedule and you should be okay. Joe the God asks, will you ever do a Hamilton parody? Joe the God, you haven't been paying attention. I did one earlier this year. It's done to Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. Soft Cloud the Kitty asks, what do you do besides make these history videos? I hang out with my little boy Quentin and I watch Yankee games. Uh, Tristan Hayes asks, who is your favorite superhero? Batman. Batman is the best because Batman is just Batman. He isn't a real superhero. He doesn't have superpowers. He's just really smart and really tough. JDS2 54321 asks, what is your favorite amendment to the Constitution? The First Amendment. You got your five freedoms right there. Um, there's a reason it's the first. Andres Carrillo asks, what do your students think about your channel? Uh, they like it for the most part. I don't want to speak for all of them. It gives me a really good pop at the beginning of the year, really good buy-in, um, but you lose a lot of that the moment you start assigning actual homework and making them take tests and whatnot. You sir and ask, can you sing any of your parodies from memory or is it just learn it, pass it, forget it like most students with materials for history tests? 
Kind of like what you said there. By the time I film them, I usually don't know the lyrics very well, but by the time I'm editing them and through with that, I've listened to it so many times where now I know everything by heart. But little thing right here, if you see me wearing sunglasses in a video, that means I have no idea what my words are. I'm reading them off of sheets. I probably finished writing them five minutes before I started filming. Majestic Quack asks, do you believe in the Mandela Effect? Yes, because it's the Berenstein Bears. Everybody knows it's the Berenstein Bears. Kaylee Martinez asks, have you ever been stopped in the street because one of your subscribers recognized you? I've been recognized like twice. So if you do recognize me, I am definitely low enough where I will get really excited if you say something about it. Ah, now the eye, like now it got really, really dark again. So let me change this. Oh, I need to do my Patreon questions. If you don't know what Patreon is, Patreon is a voluntary um, donation service, kind of like a pledging service uh, where you can support what I'm doing by donating as little or as much as you want per month. There's awesome perks to it. Um, you get early access to videos. Some people get hand-drawn historical postcards. I think I said before um, that you can get a virtual visit from Mr. Betts into your classroom or like a tutoring session. Whole bunch of really cool perks. That's patreon.com slash Mr. Betts class. Noel McCarty asks, pre-World War II, what figure in American history would you most like to be crammed in next to on a long play ride? Give me Babe Ruth. <laughs> I am a giant Yankee fan. Babe Ruth um, is just a gigantic kid and he's the babe and we would be having hot dogs and beer the entire way. Uh, Nancy, Nancy Weeks asks, how long was I in the Navy? What years were I in? I was in the Navy for five years from 2002 to uh, 2007. I enlisted right after um, September 11th. I just waited to finish the current semester that I was in in college. Rich Blackford asked, what is the hardest topic that I had to make a song about? Topics that are like really serious are really hard to make songs about because uh, you want to treat them with respect, um, but you still want to make it like fun and engaging. And that's one of the reasons why this year I started coming up with alternative ways um, to present information. So not just in parody songs, but like in skits and cartoons and different stuff like that. The more serious and the more tragic the topic, like I don't think I will ever make a uh, historical parody song about like the Holocaust because it's just bad taste. How long will you keep doing meme streams? I love doing meme streams because I love laughing and memes are silly and stupid and wonderful. And also it gives me a really good way to present information. Sometimes the parody songs are more about like review or just like setting a tone for something or introducing information, but not really explaining it. Meme stories, I get to do both. Are there any countries that you'd like to live in aside from the US? I loved my time in Australia and New Zealand. It is very far away though. Who is your favorite astronaut? I like Harry from Armageddon, um, Bruce Willis's character. When he says, take care of my little girl, and then like he pushes Ben Affleck back onto the ship or whatnot. Little tear, little tear. Desiree Marie says, how do I cram nine units into one month? You start watching my videos. And again, the sun came back. We're actually going into that hour where like across from me, the sun hits a building and just like blares in here. I'm surprised the, the whole room doesn't catch on fire. Oh, here we go, Ray Casper. Do you ever get hate comments? I get hate comments on like a daily basis. Um, if I followed all of them, my diet would consist of nothing but bleach and AIDS and cancer. This is an important message to you out there. It doesn't matter. Okay, there's always gonna be haters out there. You put yourself out there, you're gonna get the haters. But if that is you, if you are the person um, that tells me to drink bleach, just think to yourself, why? You're going out of your way to spread negativity into the world. If that's the kind of world that you want, I'm sorry. Mr. Casper also asked my favorite part of the YouTube channel, kind of related to the other question. If I daily get like one piece of hate comment, I get tons 
of awesome comments from you guys saying how much of the channel has helped you. It's made you um, connect to material that you didn't think that you'd be able to connect to. If you're a teacher, it's allowed you to reach out to students that you had no idea what to do with. Um, that really makes it worth it. Like that makes those one o'clock to two o'clock in the morning editing um, sessions worth it when like I know that somebody you know was looking for for help and I was able to help them I'll probably never meet them never talk to them but I was able to help them that's the kind of world that I want and with that I think I'm gonna call it quits I did about an hour's worth of answering questions that I'm gonna have to go through and edit just so you know though between now and the end of the school year we are doing a hard push we have a ton of parody songs coming out we have some weeks where we're gonna have like two videos coming out and then in the summer we get to play it like really loose so we're gonna start exploring like different topics that we normally wouldn't have with the curriculum. So make sure you stick around. Make sure you check out all of the different playlists as you are preparing for your finals. If you like this video, click that button that lets me know. Leave a comment or a question down below and make sure you subscribe because there's still a lot of learning left to do, but we're gonna do it together. Be safe, I'll see you next time. Oh, thank you.